I hope you enjoyed this kind of minimal pack with me for one month with a carry-on. Good morning, good morning. It's just gone 7.30 a.m. At 1 a.m. tonight, we are leaving our house to travel to Sweden for almost a full month. About three and a half weeks. I want to show you what I pack. We are a family of five and we're only taking a carry-on each. I am literally in the middle of packing. I've been doing things all week, but I have so much to do today. I need to run to the bank. I will probably film this in slightly different stages and I'll look quite different probably for each stage. So I'm going to start off with my toddler wardrobe. And I've watched so many of these videos and everybody just packs a lot for the children to like keep them entertained during flight. We're only taking a two hour flight, but we're leaving our house at 1 a.m. and we're not going to get where we're staying in Sweden until just before 6 p.m hopefully <laughs> the next day so it's a long journey how many hours is that six 12 7 24 minus 7 17 so it's about 17 hours flying from manchester in the uk to copenhagen in denmark we have to take a taxi to manchester airport at 1 a.m our flight is at 6 a.m get to copenhagen 9 a.m because they're an hour ahead train from copenhagen into sweden so we have about three hours in Copenhagen then it's a six hour train changing trains as well so it's gonna be quite a journey and we've never done it me and Danny did it three years ago now I haven't been back since the kids have never done it obviously Hunter wasn't even born then it's gonna be interesting and I want to show you what we're packing with the toddler and what's going in sort of the carry-on so plan is this this is Jensen's old coat so it's a year too big I think it's three to four so he might wear that that, so we can kind of use it as a blanket as well over here because we have a carry-on but everybody can bring a small bag each nappies for the journey wipes I'm gonna put some trains into this little canvas bag some of the only toys that we are bringing a silicone bib which is so easy to just wipe out so that's gonna be really good and handy and then this is just a spare chains of clothes and sunglasses that are going in his bag so we can easily access it in case we have any accidents next up this is what's going in the carry-on I'm gonna try and show you this as like concisely as possible and I'm gonna start with the tops so what I'm bringing for Hunter are three of these which are long sleeved tops you have a brown one a beige one and a sort of lighter colored slightly thicker Henley tops which are buttoned down and you can kind of layer these really well just in case it's slightly cooler or not quite that hot this under like the jacket would pretty much serve any weather I decided to bring four t-shirts these three t-shirts are three to four but they are like massive he's wearing one now like the blue version in one of these sets so they are going to be nice and cool to just like throw on whether he's wearing leggings or shorts I am probably putting in these two vests now these vests are four to five and Hunter wore these the other day only because they were really hot I let him borrow one of them and they belong to Jens and Jens is seven but these are five to six he's a lot smaller so he can go down a size whereas Hunter is bigger and he can go up a size some sizes in 3 to 4 are really 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 big and some just fits nicely. I want to go through the bottoms, a little hole in them, but that's okay. It's summertime, but I've decided to bring all three because they roll up easily. We don't really need these many. I feel like we could do with two longer legs and two shorts. If I have the space, I'll probably use it for Hunter. He's got a pair of these longer leg sort of jogger shorts, and then he's got just some linen ones that are slightly thinner. I tried to keep mostly neutral tones so we can kind of mix and match, but I am not that bothered about the way we look. I want to be more functional and some some nicer pieces in there for pajamas that leopard one and i got banana one he loves these they're kind of being worn to death but we're gonna stick with them two pairs of pajamas is all we're gonna need you'll probably end up wearing them during the day you always do that at home anyway one pair of swimming trunks and then one pair of like a swimming suit for socks i have decided to bring five pairs of socks because mom lives in the countryside we'll probably be barefoot a lot so we don't really need five pairs of socks but I'm bringing it and then lastly for shoes I'm bringing a pair of wellies because she does have like a lot of greenery my mom's got chicken she's got potato land greenhouses all sorts of fun stuff like I said it's a countryside so I'm gonna bring him a pair of wellies I don't know if we'll bring the other two I'm sure they'll survive and then this is kind of like half a size too small but they might be all right because they're flip-flops I'm just gonna stick these in his bag so let's pack it up. Are you helping me? Yeah, that's gonna be your bag, but I'm gonna pack it now, okay? Can I put all these things in your bag? 
Oh, I might use this one actually. This bag, but I might use the other packing cube. What do you think? Can you see yourself? Who's that baby? All gone. All gone? Are you talking to yourself? This bag. <laughs> Try them. Mama help you. Your big toe. Where's your big toe? There it is. See if you can walk in them. Is your foot all the way in? Other foot? No, I'm not gonna put them back on because we're gonna pack them. We're gonna put them in your bag, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, I know you wanna keep them on, but we're gonna put them in your bag, okay, Bobby? Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So there is plenty of room left in this bag. I don't even think you can see. Like there's nothing here on this side apart from like the wellies and the shirts. Now I can roll these and put them into the wellies or I can put his flip flops. Ah. Yeah, his and just flip flops into his wellies, which he does not want to take off. He's just put them on all by himself, but he just hasn't quite got the left foot on. There's lots of room left in this bag, which is great. because so I have a bunch of electricals and equipment and stuff to bring, camera equipment. I already have a plan to fit it all with me, but that's great. And now let's just pack up his little bag. He's got the smallest size clothing, so he's gonna fit a lot more, so he's bringing a lot more, but I'm quite happy with that. As you can see, this doesn't even come over like the edge, really. Um, and this, he's still got half a bag left here, really. And obviously this is going to be like half empty as we're using nappies during the trip it's going to get like lighter and lighter not the nappies weigh a lot but it's going to get less bulky but that's hunter's bag this is everything that i'm bringing for myself my laptop etc if you hear some noise yeah this little guy is attempting to play the harmonica job that's beautiful Ooh. so i'll talk you through it really quickly so let's do a flight outfit first the bulkiest items and i'm gonna layer those my jeans but i might wear the leggings if i have that extra bit of space it's more comfortable and they do have pockets which i like i feel like my phone goes really well into these they're very very deep pockets in those leggings the jumper thicker coat as well i have a really thin one there but the other thing is i also want to kind of bring what i'm wearing i don't need another set like you'll see but i am gonna bring this anyway under the hoodie so i can layer and take it off pack the shorts but they're not gonna take up any more extra room really to be comfortable it's a long journey let's do these so like i said i am going to wear this big coat this big jumper it's the only jumper i'm bringing these leggings we're just gonna have to fit everything else of course i am bringing the jeans i am bringing one dress in case i'm like going out with my mom or something it's like my favorite dress it's a princess polly gotta get enough use out of it from primark i've just got them for six pounds because I didn't really have any sandal-esque ones. I'm not a big sandal person. All my shoes are breaking anyway. I also picked a pair for like eight pounds up while I travel with the rest of my outfit. In here, I have five pairs of socks, five pairs of underwear because we do have a washing machine. I don't want to be doing 30 pairs of underwear continuously because that's kind of what we're bringing between us. One bathing suit that I have because we are going near a lake. I wish I had <laughs> a different one that's more like of a completely covered piece but I don't it's better than a bikini for me personally all my underwear and my bathing suit i can cram into here i've got everybody's passports 
change credit cards etc in the middle one this is just a little travel pouch I got so many years ago now in here I'm just gonna put electrical cables like chargers etc and then I can put this in my main handbag alongside camera and laptop so I can easily take it out we'll put my liquids in that same handbag which seems risky but I double bag them these and the electricals need to be taken out in security so I don't have to unzip my carry-on if you're interested but this is all I'm bringing in terms of makeup and one bronzer and the rest is three different brushes and eyelash curler because I've stopped wearing mascara a long time ago he canted my body lotion my toner my cleanser and my moisturizer and the toner I don't use every day is the pixie glow tonic so I only use that when I start to get a bit extra spotty one lipstick and then I just have my CC cream that is running out iconic highlighter that's running out my iconic blush that's running out concealer that is running out I didn't bring anything for my eyebrows because I do use an eyebrow brush and a darker eyeshadow because I don't have an eye pencil but I do want to try and pick up an eye pencil today if I can remember and that can go in here as well because I don't want to faff around with powder I maybe do my makeup like average three days a week I can kind of handle it with that but if I were to do it more often when I'm traveling I don't want to faff around with powders so I'm just gonna pick up an eyebrow pencil it's not the end of the world cotton wool I don't need probably all of them <laughs> I'll probably bring them, I'm sure they'll fit, super manky. And then I put my hair ties around the hairbrush so I don't lose them. Sunglasses, I'll be probably traveling with these and I'll bring these a spare. I'm just gonna grab the case. Because they're not going in my main bag, I'm gonna put them with what I'm traveling with. This liquid pouch, so that's going in my handbag with my laptop. I'm bringing four actual t-shirts and one designated sleep t-shirt. I could sleep in this one as well if it's really hot because it's lightweight. One thin dressing gown. There's gonna be loads of people. My mom and her partner, that's who we're gonna stay with for. The duration, my sister is coming with her three kids. My other sister is coming with her boyfriend. And my brother will probably be coming. And my brother's daughter you know you just need it for toilet runs basically lightweight jacket from princess polly you see me wear this all the time you can throw this over anything i'm gonna use this instead of like a cardigan then for my tops i have a sort of racer back top which i thought would go with these just you know course shorts nude version of what i'm wearing with matching shorts from fabletics then i have again the same type of shorts in pink with spaghetti strap top then i have the spaghetti strap top in grey. I do have a black one but I can't find it. That is it I think. Yeah that's all I'm bringing uh, apart from my computer and camera etc but I'm going to be putting that in my main handbag with these. So let's pack it up. I've already put like my travel documents in here. I remember those days we were young and had nothing to do I used to pick you up and drive to a place we could talk for hours Hey, everything's falling over. Hunter, can you bring the Paw Patrol Sometimes back, Sometimes we'd please? run out of words to Thank say, you. but we didn't mind Oh, thank you. Oh, where is it? Did you put it here? Time. Oh, thank you very, very much. That's for Jensen, okay. And I Remember when you kissed me I felt the taste of your lip stick Even the breath of your lip I don't think you can see this in like real life but actually there is a fair bit of room here I could easily fit my laptop and things in here which is great but obviously you're supposed to take out your electricals anyway so I might keep them in my handbag but even so I do have space in here so I could even bring another cardigan or I could wear a cardigan and pack that jumper <laughs> I did not expect that I could even bring like my sneakers the thing is like my other shoes are white so if we are going to be like just running around or walking or whatever I might not wear those where are you? Oh, my Adidas shoes have a hole in them, uh, which I don't mind. They've had a hole in them for years. They fit in, so I'll probably bring them up. Just give me one second. They're super muddy and super dirty, so I'm gonna have to like clean them off, squeeze in here. My new other ones that I'll be wearing. As I've been decluttering, I've found so many like electrical things. Whoops, watch out. 
<laughs> These are the various charges that I have. So I'm just gonna bring them. So obviously they have a different plug for our beats. Don't try and shoot me. He's got a water gun trying to shoot me. And just the usual one in case we only can find an adapter instead of a plug. My beats are charged, so I'm gonna put them in the case for tonight. Camera cap, which need to go on top of my camera that you're on. Beats charger, phone charger, a charger, which is a USB charger for the portable hard drives. So I'm just gonna put those together. And then I have this little slot for my memory card to my phone, which I probably don't need. I did use a lot when I was in Sweden last time. And all I'm gonna do is put them in between this claw clip. Can mama have that one, please? Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. So I've got them all together here. So I'll put the portable chargers in here. A tiny spare memory card. There's more room in here. In case I want to put my laptop charger with my laptop. I'm going to put these chargers and electricals. The back bit, I'll put the liquids in the front compartment. And then I'll put the pass parts and everything, which is inside this bag, um, in the middle seat. There's plenty of space for my laptop and like other bits and bobs that we might need to just have easy access to. Are you a baby in a box? I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay friends, it's now quarter past six in the evening and obviously we go in in about five hours, less than five hours, a taxi will come. So I'm going to show you what Max has got and what we're packing for him. I won't show you Dennis or Jensen's because it's not really for me, but this is my nine-year-old. We have one hoodie, one kind of shirt that he can throw over anything as well, kind of similar to me. He's got two pairs of jeans, one black and one blue two joggers, stack of pants and socks. I am going to put those into a canvas bag, same like I had. I think these are too small, but that's okay. Five t-shirts, one longer sleeve that is still quite thin. Three pairs of shorts, that's a matching set, the top one, and then he's got two pairs of swimming shorts. I did pick up these at the charity shop when I headed to the bank earlier today, and they were £1.99, so that was really good. Now let's go ahead and pack Max's things up. done i hope you enjoyed this kind of minimal pack with me for one month with a carry-on so we all have a small bag that we can take along to which are the backpacks and by handbag maxis and jensen's are completely empty so i'm just gonna put some extra nappies and wipes in there because nappies are about three times the price in sweden and when i headed into town earlier i did pick up some like belvita biscuits and some bananas that we could just bring which i thought could be good as snacks um, and they'll easily fit in their backpacks as well and that is it we are done if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe let me know what you want to see next below how are you with packing have you got any tips that you can share with others do leave those there too and i look forward to seeing you in my next video have an amazing amazing week and i will see you soon bye